Hi everybody! It's just did it though. Hello. Um, so, we're gonna do something a little different today. Um, because Wizard 101 has... Uh, Wizard 101. Ah, uh, lip's not working. Um, they have something new, and uh, Ditto's kind of excited about it, and wanted to try it out. And uh, figured, you know, we'd record. So, what I want to check out is... Jewel Socketing. Yes, Jewel Socketing. So, I have to go to the Jewel Works to find out all about Jewel Socketing. Here we go. Hello, Catherine Rockhammer. We will talk to Catherine Rockhammer. Hello, welcome to Rockhammer's Jewel oh, World. Hello. The mother load of all things jewel crafting and jewel socketing. Oh, I get it, the mother load. Very nice. Okay. Oh, you must be that remarkably polished young wizard that Louise mentioned. Smash it. Let's dig right in. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, lots of puns about jewels and digging and such. That's kind of funny. I like it. Very clever. Magical jewels are extraordinary crystals you can affix to certain items oh. to infuse them with unique statistical enhancements. Unique statistical enhancements. That sounds interesting. We call this jewel socketing. I Allow me to understand. demonstrate with this cracked, accurate opal jewel and this athame. Okay. We'll start by opening the socketing page of your spellbook. Ah, I see. It's a little... There's a little thing in the... Um, under the... Uh, item in the spell book. So you just click the little button. Okay. The socketing page is where you'll ah. physically affix your jewels into the special slots called sockets on your socketable items. Oh, I see. All right. And uh, how do I choose sockets? Jewels have distinct shapes that oh. only fit into corresponding sockets. Socketable items come with varying numbers and shapes of sockets. Oh, I get it, I get it. So you have like a round, oh I see, it's like round and square and uh, triangle and, okay. Now, notice that our Athane only has a triangle socket. Only lucky triangle. for us, our cracked Acura Opal is a triangle cut. It's a perfect fit! Oh, that is lucky for us. Somehow I think they planned that. And voila! Our Athame has now been imbued with the magic of the cracked Acura Opal, which gives us an accuracy stat boost in a jewel! Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Quick and easy, right? Very quick now, and easy. before I turn you loose to start socketing yourself, okay. I have one last important nugget for you. Oh, I get it, nugget. That's, that's clever. Each jewel can only be placed into a socket once. Oh. Although you can remove a jewel from a socket, it shatters the jewel completely. Oh, 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 that is terrible. Okay. All right, makes sense. Thank you. Thank you for warning me. But you can affix a new jewel into that same socket. Oh, okay. That way, you can continually improve your most useful items. Oh, I see, I see. That makes sense. It's pretty logical. Well... That's the core of jewel socketing. Okay. If you ever need a refresher, feel free to reference my jewel socketing tome. Ah, jewel socketing tome. Interesting. And here, take this athame and this opal and give socketing a try yourself. Okay, okay. You've seen how easy it is, and you can do it anywhere. Of course, acquiring jewels won't always be this easy. Oh, of course not. Jewels can certainly be found in treasure troves, okay. lost hoards, and so forth, but finding them is extremely rare. Oh, extremely rare. Okay, can we make them? However, you can also craft your own jewels. Oh, good. As with any craft, you start with a recipe, which you can buy from a recipe vendor. Oh, okay, maybe I'll try that too. There are many kinds of jewel crafting recipes, but the basic ingredients are the same. You'll need metal, metal which you okay. can find throughout the spiral, a gem, which you can find or purchase from a vendor, okay. and a treasure card. Ah, and of course, you need a jewel crafting station. Of course, yes, jewel crafting station, that makes sense. When you craft a jewel, there's an element of randomness in the process. <laughs> oh, and you may get a more or less powerful result. Oh, okay, so... That makes sense. For instance, if you use the same ruby recipe three times, you could craft three rubies with three different damage values. Oh, okay. Now... Because I want everyone in the spiral to enjoy jewel crafting as much as I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you a jewel crafting station. Ooh, good free stuff. I like it. All you need now is a jewel crafting recipe. Okay. I can't wait to hear about the jewels you craft in socket. Good luck, wizard. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Um, so I got the... 
All right, I got the Cracked Accurate Opal, and I got the Trusty Athame, uh, and a Jewel Crafting Station. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Um, all right, let's try this. Come over here. And, um... Okay. All right, there's the trusty athame, athame, whatever they call it. There's the triangle socket, very good. Affix jewels. All right, cracked accurate opal. Oh, I, I have some that um, that I got from um, from doing gauntlets with uh, Page Moonshade too. So I declare mana opal, which is a plus thirty-five max, level eighty-five plus only. Okay. And enfeeble amethyst, which gives you enfeeble. Ooh, cool. Gives one card. And then the Cracked Accurate Opal, which I just got, so I'll use that one and a fix. Once a jewel is fixed, it must be shattered to be removed from a socket. Are you sure you want to affix the Cracked Accurate op Opal 1% to this socket? Hmm. Yes. And there we go. And then you can check out, um, Trusty Athame. Yeah, there we go. Socket 1% accuracy. That's interesting. Alrighty then. Okay. Um, let's go home and we'll put the. Uh, oh no no, we need to find um, uh, recipe. Does she sell recipes? No. Uh, you can get jewels from her. Looks like entry level jewels. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I want recipe. Where would we get a recipe? Hmm. Oh, I know where I can look. Old Town. See if there's recipes with the crafting recipe vendor. Maybe not. But we'll check. Eudora Tangle Tree. Do you have a recipe? Okay. Um, uh, nope, that's not it. Furniture. Jewels! Oh, look at that! She has jewel recipes. So, like, um, fire jewel, plus 15. Okay. Well, I'm going to buy that recipe and try to do it. Uh, what does it need? Um, okay, I need a couple of rubies. Well, three rubies and um, three pyrite and six fire elf. Hmm. Let's see if ruby or pyrite I can get from Reagent Vendor. This is probably a really boring video, huh? Sorry. Ruby! Okay, I got a ruby. No pyrite. Hmm. Let's go over to the bazaar. And we'll see if there are pyrite and uh, fire elves. Fire elves should be easy to get here or elsewhere. That's not a biggie. Treasure cards. Okay. Fire Elf. Okay. Bought the Fire Elf cards. Okay, now I need um, Pyrite. Let's see if they have any. Nope, no pyrite. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to find pyrite. Those are, are going to be tricky ones to find, I bet. That's okay, that's okay. Um, okay, let's go home. 
I've got kind of like a replanning, redecorating thing going on at some of my houses, so. But this should take me, okay, yeah, this is where my main crafting thingy is. Oh, one of them. All right, here's my crafting lab. Hmm, let's come over here. Okay, we'll do this. Um, okay, okay. I think mm, move him uh, over here. That's good there. And then um, furniture, jewel crafting station. That'll go over here. All right, dual crafting station all set. And, yep, we need pyrite. Okay. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for this one. Um, so that is dual crafting, and it's pretty interesting. Oh, maybe I can try this. Um, huh. All right, so I have a square socket. I have a square, I don't have a square, okay. So I don't have a square jewel. Um, square socket, square socket. Okay, only square sockets there. Amulet. Ah, tier and square, but both are locked. Um, my good Athame. Locked circle, and I don't think I have a circle anyway. Nope, I don't. Okay, well, um, well, that's good for now. What, uh, let's see, those don't have it. Rings have it. Pets don't have those. No, that doesn't make sense. Boots I don't see. All right, well, I don't have really have enough to keep going. So, okay, that's the video. Um, how long was it, Carl? Um, like 12 minutes. Oh, wow, okay, that took a while. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring. So, um, okay, we'll do more questing later. Bye.